It's a big time duel in the desert on a Thursday night. It's ASU hosting Stanford, two teams that are not out of division title crowns. So I'm Curtis Conway, Mike Am with you. This is a weird deal though for Stanford. We have used to watching David Shaw's team just pound it down your throat. That's changing right now. Yeah, it's definitely changing. You know, we've seen it all year. Um, Bryce Love hasn't been the same. He's been a little banged up. But Mike, also that offensive line is not the same that we're used to seeing in the run game in the past. You go back to a couple weeks ago, KJ Costello is now throwing the ball. 40 pass attempts. Mike, I hadn't seen that since Andrew Luck in 2011. Is the tie starting to switch a little bit? Is Stanford now becoming a passing team? It's going to be a huge question in this game against ASU. Hard to blame them when they have J.J. Ortega Whiteside, who is an absolute monster, especially in the end zone. All right, from the ASU perspective, what do we need to look out for? Well, here's another thing, too. ASU has, hasn't been playing well against the run, especially in these last four games. So will Stanford run the ball against ASU? Will they work on trying to shore up their run defense? And to ASU advantage, They've undefeated at home, so this could be a nice little uh, home uh, victory for ASU. Yeah, Sun Devils trying to make that push in that South Division. Same could be said in the North for the Stanford Cardinal. Full recap, we got everyone covered on Pac-12 Network.